let me show you the biggest nostalgic game in my archive. One of Adventure Quest. That's Arte. This is my new account. Like, I, I don't remember my old account, so don't kill me. Please. Ah, my boy looking fresh with the fro. Chill. I was playing this 10 days ago. See how they bombard you with ads? Get more adventure. Be a guardian. This is what they always did. I'm not buying it. Yo, it's my man Twilly. Oh, chill. Is this game how it used to be when you was a kid? No. The biggest no. So my problem with Adventure Quest is it doesn't tell you where to go, what to do, where to start. And I think I think I didn't notice that as a child, but yeah, it doesn't tell you anything. I feel like you just start fighting. I'm going to show you the problem with that. So I swore back then there were levels that showed you on the side what level you had to be to, you know, fight in these certain places, but they don't. So if I pick a random place like Crove Sport. Oh, wait, we got to get past these cutscenes. All right. For my first battle, I am fighting Herdmaster. All right. Let me just see his stats. He doesn't like light. So, I mean, everything else is really balanced across the board. So he should be he should get cooked. I'm gonna hit him with that boulder dash. I know it'll do some damage. Bang! It's 25 on his head. head. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. My little birdie cooked him a little bit. Hit him with that fire. Yeah, the bats. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh. He's almost dead though. One and two is not acceptable. Oh, he missed. Let me show y'all something new. I don't remember this. It's called Ally Assist, right? So when you click it, you can choose one of these people to come out and help you into the fight for a quick thing. So I'm going to choose Arctic because he's the poster boy. So it does that. Arctic come out. Huh. 18. He wins. Oh, and this whole little victory screen with this. This is all new. Overkill, perfect kill. Like This game is brand spanking new now. So I'm fighting a frog. That's the name of that thing. A frog. Okay. It's decent stats. Don't want to touch it with fire. So ice is the thing. But I don't have ice. I don't think so. Wow, I just figured this out. If you click this, it swaps. That's really cool. I'm not going to lie. I like this one, though. I'm going to use those aqua bats. Miss. Make, ever make me miss again. So I'm going to use the ally thing again because she does a lot of water damage to speed up this fight. Let's see how much she do, though. 214s, I mean, I guess. Dang, 10? I'm gonna use my Dark Scepter. Let's see what happened. 11? Not bad. So I switched my armor into my fire armor. Um, I don't know why. I just wanted to look cooler. This is a, called a Baby Zizot. All right, it's one hit. It did a lot of damage to me, but last hit. Oh my goodness. And I win. <laughs> I mean, the basics of this game never changed. I think they added new places and like different like houses. I think I think some of these houses you could not go in. There's it felt like it's some new people. I think you always got the guardian castle in the back, the city in the sky. Um, yeah, I mean, the interface of this game looks the same. Uh, in the quest are the same. But the only problem is it feels like the beginning game of adventure quest is harder um it feels like the enemies um do a lot more damage and they luck they have better luck chances than you in the beginning so it's like the game wants you to lose a lot in the beginning so this is one of them games where you don't just easily get a bunch of wins work hard and just grind through the game without really dying you know you're gonna die in this game like it, it, it just it's inevitable also they have like this new stat in the game i've never seen before the status effects so sometimes in certain fights you can have poisoned and all that stuff freeze whatever you know just certain effects 
But her is she's the most nostalgic because we used to come in here trying to get these free pets sometimes thinking like, oh, if you click them, you can get them for free. Or like we always were looking to buy a new pet or something. And you come in here, pets, and then. Oh, wait, let me show you what they look like. It's right here. Like trouble or trouble. Yeah. The Cardinal. Razor wing. Got this little bunny rabbit like you always wanted a, a pet because they help definitely help you in the fight and they all got different effects like bro that man's a, f a fury godfather you can have that as a pet and you can have the fairy godmother oh there she go the undead zard oh man bro the undead puppy like this stuff this was a this was a good game man but yeah that was adventure quest just a little mini deep dive some gameplay hope y'all like